Welcome back to the Shropshire Kitchen Garden. I'm planting some seeds today uh, and I wanted to show you the kind of things that I'm actually planting and the process, the materials I'm using for doing the planting. So the first things I've got, I've got here, I've got some dwarf French beans, I've got some runner beans and some peas. Now those I'm going to plant in these little sort of fibre pots and um, one, maybe two to a pot and then they can be planted out when they've grown a bit more. Um, I've got some things I'm going to grow well in the polytunnel, so I've got some peppers, I've got some aubergine, I've also got some pumpkins, now I'll start, I'll start them off in the polytunnel, but a little bit later on in the year I'll actually probably put them in the compost heap. I've then got sweet corn, a couple, two different types of sweet corn, um, some cabbage, savoy cabbage, and also some lettuce. What I'm using for planting, so for the beans and peas I'm using these fibre pots. For some of the other things I've got these little plastic trays. But you don't need anything special. You can do it, I mean this is just an old mushroom pot in the supermarket. just want to make sure you've got a few drainage holes in the bottom of that. The soil I'm using then is a... Uh, a specific seed planting soil and I've also got I mean these are just cut out of old yogurt pots I can actually write on them the labels of what we're actually planting now let's get on and do a bit of planting so we'll start with the, uh, the peas and I'm putting a bit of soil in the pot I mean they're just literally a dried and shriveled pea. I'll put a couple of those in the pot and top it up with soil on the top of that. So just so you can see again, I'll do one more of those. Topping up the soil and we'll put that to one side. So we do that for peas, you do the same for, for runner beans, you do the same for uh, the dwarf French beans. We'll do pumpkins next. So with these trays, I'll fill them about halfway full. Tamp the soil down. Now this, this one here, um, The seeds we've got eight or so in there, big oval seeds. We want to plant them on their side, just gently put into the soil. We should be able to get all of them in this tray. And then we'll cover those over with soil. And then finally, just for the planting, showing you the planting now, we'll do the mushroom tray. And what I'm going to do in that, I'm going to do some of the sweet corn. And again, they're dried and shriveled sweet corn. And we're just going to sort of evenly space those out in the tray. It doesn't need to be perfect but you want enough of a spacing between them that you can tease the roots apart when they're a bit bigger. And then I'm going to cover that over with soil. And then finally, just for now, we do the, um, the cabbage, the savoy cabbage. These are a much smaller seed. So we're just going to gently scatter them over the soil. So 
So we'll leave it there for now. I'm going to get on and I'll get on and do all of these and then I'll show you the finished product in a bit. So we're more or less finished now. I'm just going to show you finishing off the French beans. You can see in each of these pots what I've done. I've got two seeds in here. I've done the same with the runner beans uh, and with the, um, with the peas. The idea being that as they grow, both grow, I'll, take, I'll keep the strongest one. So I'm just going to finish off putting soil over the top of those. Now all of these things are going to take a week or two to start germinating. Some of them I'm going to put in the polytunnel. These, these trays of beans will be fine in the polytunnel. These smaller trays I'm going to grow inside. And the ideal place for them is a sunny window cell. You want to make sure they're kept moist but not sodden. The best way to do that is we're going to give everything a good water now. With some of these things you can put some polythene or a clear plastic bag over them. And keep the moisture in. And at the moment they're showing as seedlings and take the plastic off. So we'll come back and look at those when they're growing. Um, Hopefully we'll get a good strike rate on what's germinating. The next thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to finish off doing the bed where we're going to plant all of these things out when they're germinated. So join me next time on my Shropshire Kitchen Garden. Goodbye.